Yes, y'all know what it is, man. It's the Earn and ISO show. If you don't know, now you know. You know what I'm saying? Guess what? Now y'all know, man. ISO at it again. Yes, sir. Another new series to add to the many, many content series that we have already. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what if? So what if what? What if Biggie Smalls and Tupac Shakur were still alive? You know what I mean? Two of the hip-hop legends. You know what I'm saying? Actually, if Tupac Shakur was still alive, he would be 48 years old to this day, while Biggie Smalls would be 50 years old to this day. So, you know what I'm saying? Two rap legends that may have had retired and left a legacy of hip-hop albums and songs. You know what I'm saying? And a, a healthy catalog for us to listen to. You know what I mean? Um... What made you think of that, uh, this, this joint? I can't even tell. I just thought of it earlier today. <laughs> right. Um, because of the whole, um, the whole Marvel what if. Okay. And that had like, popped up on my phone. So I just thought like, well, could, could we, could we do a what if? I would just start, I started thinking of that. Then I thought of what, 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 what could the what if be about? Some of the what ifs be about. And one of the things that, People be like, yo, what if they were still here? Right. I said, man, we might as well, yeah. That, so it just popped in my mind to, to see if we can do that. So, man, here we are, man. Um, yeah, I always thought, you know, what if they were still here? What would music be like? Hip hop be like? Life be like? Would be things be the things be the same? With things, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure some things would be different. A lot of things would be different. You know what I mean? Um, the whole thing about that, I feel like, to me, I feel like, I feel like Pac wouldn't have rapped for long. I feel like he'd have, he'd have like, as soon as it'd be like a movie star and all that, mm -hmm. he'd have probably like ascended to do that more. I just, that, that that's just my personal feel. Mm -hmm. I feel like he would have just gotten to acting more. And he'd have been more of a, not like, he would have still rapped, but it wouldn't have been like constantly making albums. It would have been a more of an album here and there and all that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, Maybe like years apart or something like that. Right. Cause I just feel like he just got into more things. You know what I mean? He might have been more, started being more of an activist and stuff like that. Like I said, doing movies. And I just feel like, I just feel like, he would have still rap, but it wouldn't have been his old life wouldn't have been hip hop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Up to this point, you know what I mean? I feel like he'd have probably because he he just he just struck me as a great person where he'd have probably played the background as far as his own music career and just put other people on. Remember True. he ran he ran around with, with, with a lot of people that he was trying to help and put on. Right, I agree with that. So I, I feel like that. he would have probably fell back instead of just doing the music thing himself, not not me as much. I feel like he would have just probably like. You know, did like movies, TV, and stuff like that. Then he'd have probably started directing movies and TV, you know what I mean, TV, stuff like that. And he would, have, as far as music, he'd have been more into pushing, putting other people on. Right. You know what I mean? So right. I felt like, I feel like that when it comes when it comes to him. Um, when it comes to Big, I feel like if Big was still around, I feel like um, people were saying that. Well, 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 a lot of people were saying well, both of them was going to end up leaving leaving their labels. People were saying that Biggles was probably going to end up leaving Bad Boy and Pac was probably going to end up leaving Death Row. I mean, I also think that those things are true. That um, with both of them, but I feel like Big leaving Bad Boy would have probably, that will probably like, I don't know, slowed him down. That's not necessarily slowed him down, but some of the people might have, uh, might have, the fans of Bad Boy might have like migrated and moved to wherever Big was going. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because when the whole thing of Big, when Big, when Big passed, that kind of like made people look at who, who was left, which was Diddy, Mace, more like them two. You know what I mean? More like Mace became like the new number one. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. then like and then like Diddy kind of like turned his you no know, self into an artist. So then like Diddy kind of like turned himself into the number one artist on his own label when really it was it was nat it it would have just naturally fell down to Mace. Right. True. You see what I'm saying? True, true. 
Know what I mean? True. Not I mean I mean I mean not to say Mace wasn't nice, but he would have inherited the number one spot. You know what I'm saying? That that would naturally went to him. Mm-hmm. I guess Diddy kind of like jumped up and took the number one spot on his own label. You see what I'm saying? Right. So I feel like if he if Big was here and he's alive and he just left Bad Boy, I don't think it would have played out like that. I think that he I think I think that Diddy might have been Diddy might have I don't know, tried to replace him or something. I don't know. Mm, hard tried to task. sign more people. Hard task. Yeah, yeah, hard task because cause then you gotta try to you gotta try to sign somebody else that I mean I mean first of all, I mean I feel like you had Mace there. Personally feel like if if, if Big left, that'd have made Mace the number one person there, top dog there. And everything would have been on him to come with the hits. You know what I'm saying? Right. That'd have been on him. But Diddy kinda like jumped in that spot. But I feel like if if Big would have if Big would have been successful in leaving, and then you, you still got you got Junior Mafia, and then they would have been a, he would have been around yeah. for 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 Cam and Charlie Baltimore. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Right. Right. So right. because remember, Cam was gonna be Big's artist. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. So which probably would have caused conflict with C's. I mean, what what did that call? Why? Why you say that? Because you figure if Big's still alive, C's like I'm next up. But I mean, like skill wise, Cam is yeah, you know I mean, is is the person that yeah, you know I mean, not just skill wise, skill wise and personality wise. Cam would have been the person that would have propelled through that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So even if C's would have, you know I mean, in his mind thinking I'm next up, just because we know who Cam is today, you know what I'm saying? I think the fans would have, you know what I'm saying, propelled him to be the next up guy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So yeah, I think I think that probably would have I think that would have would have caused a little, you know what I mean, um blowback with him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but if you got I don't know. If and you, you said Charlie Baltimore, so you don't think that Kim would have had an issue with that? Hmm. Damn. New developments. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm thinking like you said, Charlie. Yeah. You know, Kim would have told Damn, it's crazy. <laughs> Not that I don't love Kim, but I, I, I forgot about her for a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I forgot about her for only a second. Yeah, I forgot about her only for a second. But I f- okay. Um. Damn. Yeah. See, so, so, so you got to think about it like this. I can see big. Put knowing who how savvy Puff was, Puff probably would have hit big with some situation like same way uh baby hit uh Wayne with. You had your own label, but you know what I'm saying, underneath the bad boy umbrella. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta leave. Look, we're gonna give you a label big, this year label, but you still underneath bad boy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? On some shit like that. Yeah, but I don't see see I I don't I don't know how factuary thing is, but people were saying that he had a deal on the table. Him and Un was going to run a, a joint, mm-hmm. but it turned. But but once Big passed, he kind of um he turned it into entertainment. Okay, remember what was entertainment? Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out, shout out the Un. You know what I mean, because that's where that's where fucking Dutch Dutch and Dutch Dutch was signed to Un, wasn't he? Dutch and Spade was thinking. Yeah, Dutch and Spade was signed to Un and Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So um. Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. So, it would have been. Yeah, it probably, so I think yeah, that that left. right there. I think I I think they still did the. I say they still did the deal, and that's why I think. And that's why, from if I'm remembering correctly, from what people were saying, that's why Cam was still able to get the deal. Right. Because he's like, yo, Big said he was going to sign me, and then unsaid, yeah, and nah, I mean we'll still do it. But right. really, you coming in with one of these really you was supposed to be coming in under Big. I mean, even though they was going to run it together, I guess. Un, Un's gonna be more of the business dude behind it. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think that that um I think eventually Big was probably gonna leave Bad Boy and just sign, you know what I mean? You right, yeah. his own I, thing. I forgot about that. You're right. And that turned into end up being un- entertainment. The commission. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but see, right. you can still do the commission, but um when he named everybody, 
Then he named Charlie Baltimore, but he didn't name Kim in there. Yeah, he named Charlie. Yeah, he named Kim. No. So he named Charlie Baltimore in there, but not Kim. No. Yeah. Yeah. Frank Wright, Uncle Paulie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. He didn't know. He didn't name Kim in there at all. It was C's, Charlie, and Jay, right? Yeah. But Kim wasn't in there. Who knows? That might have been at that time he made that song when he said that. They might have been. They might have been a kind of like on the outs or something like yeah, that. Yeah, they yeah. might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they might have been going through like a rough patch or something like that during yeah. that moment. So I'm like, so I'm like, yo, I listen to it. If, if I'm, I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to recollect it. I don't remember him saying Kim name there, but I remember saying Charlie. Yeah. But I, but I don't know if you felt. I, I don't know if you felt like she gonna be cool on her own, or she gonna be a star on her own, or whatever. Right, or, right. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, she should be cool. Um. Damn, I lost. I don't. I don't lost track. Of what I. What I was saying. Cause I wasn't even thinking about that. The old Charlie. The old Charlie Baltimore, little Kim thing, dynamic and how that may have worked. Right. Um. But, but Kim was Junior Mafia though. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, but so C, C was Junior Mafia too, right? True, you right. He was. So, he so, was. so, 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 so they already. So if you already got him signed to a deal, then y'all start another label, and then you got Cam and Charlie as your first two artists. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You still got Junior Mafia over there. They they might have had a chance. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that he would have been able to work with C's and, and help C's put out his first album. Yeah. Now I don't. It then and then that might that that might have changed the fate of the other people that was there. Over there because I don't know if I I don't know I'm assuming him him passing may have had an effect on whether they was able to put out music because I don't I don't I don't I don't I remember any of, of them rest of them putting out no music no I remember C C C was was well known enough and popular enough to to I mean to put an album out mm-hmm. but C's only put one album out right yeah one yeah so so yeah man I just felt like. That would have changed. Now, I mean, I feel like he would eventually would have left. Mm-hmm. Bad boy. Because from what I hear, entertainment was supposed to be like both fans. He just changed the name. So I guess I, I don't I don't know what the what 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 the, what, what the original name of it was supposed to be when he was alive. But it's unchanged at the entertainment. And I guess he still got the bread that right. they, they they was both gonna get. Right. So, I mean, yeah, the whole landscape of that chain. I mean, the whole landscape of hip hop. Probably would have changed dramatically because if he if he's still around, he's, he's still able to execute that. You talking about changing the landscape of Bad Boy altogether? Because do the locks do the locks still go to Bad Boy, or do the locks go? No, with, no, with, the, no. The locks was already signed to Bad when Bad when Big was alive, though. Remember? You right. They was. They was. They was. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, 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 so if they leave. I feel like they the price still did the same thing and still left because yeah. of, because because the big is going. I, I I don't I don't think I don't think that changes anything with them. I think that they probably would have probably end up still leaving you and still going they... back with rough. So end up going back with rough riders. Okay, you know what I mean. But see see my thing is this. I mean even though because X really wasn't never signed to like straight to the rough like they signed a Def Jam. True. Right? Because I remember X telling the story that. Um. When he went to get a deal, Puff was like, nah, you sound a little too raw. Like, you sound like, you know what I mean? Nah, nah, this bad boy. You know what I mean? Y'all sound, yeah, yeah, you, you, you sound, you sound a little too, sound a little too, too, too street and all this and that. You know right, what I mean? Right. What we going to do with you over here? You know what I mean? So, I don't know if that was, I don't know if that was why Big was still around. After Big passed away, I don't know. Cause yeah. I, I remember X saying that. That Diddy told him, like, nah, I don't know. I mean, you you not a you not a fit over here. You nice, but you ain't a fit over here. Right. Um, but I don't I don't know, I don't know what time that was. I never heard X say or anybody say it, the uh, the time frame of that. If it was a time where Big was still alive or after Big was gone, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Now, I mean, I have no clue. Cause I like to see how that played out. You know what I mean? Um, 
I mean, the main thing that I know everybody that's I mean watching and listening is going to want to know. Yeah, we about to get into it. Is Jay Z going to be Jay Z? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We about to get into that. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't think he. I don't think he would would have been as big as he as he is. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't. Um, I think part of the reason why. He did become big as he, he was always nice. Yeah. He was always nice, but I don't think, I think that that right there was, the the, the reason why he, 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 he was able to become as big as he is, is now and all that is because the spot was open for that. Right. You had to fill that void. The spot was open for that. Yeah. And... And Nas didn't seem to want it. Right. See what I'm saying? Right. Nas didn't seem to want it. He just seemed like the type of dude, I'm just, I'm cool with just being me and I'll come up whenever I feel like making right. some music. Right. I'm not wanting it. Now I mean I'm considered I'm I'm considered nice, but I don't really want it. And then he was able to, it was like he dope and is and and plus is right place right time right on right, top of that right I'm in the right place at the right time and then this other dude don't seem to want it you know what I'm saying I'll take the spot you know what I mean because everybody's looking at Nas to be the dude right but Nas don't you know what I mean he 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 want to come and go as he please type of you know what I mean he want to come and go as he please type of artist right you know what I mean. I mean, we love him for it because he, that he, he that that always been him. But he ain't been the most consistent person. He ain't like he he gonna constantly come out with album, 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 album. No, it's some years where he just you don't even know where he at or what he doing. True, true, true. You know what I mean? So it wasn't like super super duper consistent. And then I guess that 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 that's what kind of gave Jay like okay, all right, he ain't really jumping on it. And then I'm coming with the right music. I kind of like I kind of like found my lane because remember because remember when Big first passed, Jay tried to jump in the and I mean lane and just basically do the same records he did. Yeah, Big did. That's where that all the the whole the whole vibe one came from, and that's why it don't sound like it go with it don't it don't. That's like the album that don't really sound. It's it's his album, but it don't it sound like off when you listen to it. Mm -hmm. Even though he spent some joints on there, now I mean he got some joints on there, but overall. It don't feel like that's naturally him. Mm. That don't just feel like 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 it just it's just that don't just felt off. Mm. It felt like a little off. Know what I mean? So when they do talk about, yeah, that's because we was trying to when when, when Damon them be like, yeah, that was, we was trying to do what 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 Puffin was doing. That and that's that's what it sound like. It sound like it wasn't hundred percent him. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. so once he got back to like, okay, I'm gonna be myself. Volume two came out, hit the hard knock life joint. Like I said, even though the volume one joint had some joints on there, that where the where I'm from joint, um, many one questions was on there, um, which I hated the fact that he had to do the remix though, man. Not, not he had to do the remix to make the song longer, cause that joint should have been like that from jump. Mm. But you know, you know what I mean, everybody made mistakes, players fuck up too. Mm -hmm. Um, he had some joints on there, but that joint just never sounded right. It kind of sounded like that's what they was going for. Mm. Like, all right, big as ain't big ain't here, and I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to jump in the spot. But I gotta, I gotta be him to jump in the spot. No, I guess he realized. No, I can, I can get in this spot and become the number one dude being me. Right. right I don't have to you. be him to be in the number one you. spot. I feel you. So I guess once they figure that out, all right. Now they got that together, but if he was still around. I think that, yeah, I don't think that big, I mean, I don't think that Jay would have been as big as, as big as he is. He would have mm. had some records or, or who knows, he might have been, that might have prompted him not to make an album like that because Big is still around. True, true. Or maybe true. like, I got to make songs just like Big. I got to stick around Big more because once, okay, you figure if you do the commission, I know we staying on Big right now a whole lot. Now I'm going to get, I'm going to get back to Pac, but 
if you if y'all say say y'all actually make that commission album happen. Yeah. Okay. Now you can propel yourself to do that because you had reasonable doubt. Then I don't know if they would have did the commission and then we'd have came out with his next album, his second album. You know what I mean? Right. Would he have been like on some like, all right, I can ride the wave of just doing that commission album, but I don't wanna, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna sound like I'm big. So let me go do some little stuff a little different from Jump. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think, I don't know what direction he would have went in. You know what I mean? I don't know. Right. I don't know what direction he would have went in because because we know that since since Big passed away that he went to a where he tried to fill Big shoes. Like he True. tried to do songs that that Big would have probably, you know what I mean? Joints that Big would have probably rapped over. True. Beats that Big would have probably rapped over and all that. But that's Big. You see what I'm saying? Right. You know what I mean? You kind of like, it's like they can, I don't know, they kind of like different but the same. I can't explain it. Like, 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 like some of them joints like um, Sunshine, which. That's exactly what I was thinking about, dog. Exactly a, a, pers about. a person like Big could have probably rapped on that joint mm -hmm. and it probably came off better. Right. Even though what, even though when you listen to what they saying, even though we listen to what he's saying, the joint was dope. Now I'm saying he was actually saying something in the joint. Now yeah. I'm saying they was phone in the joint. Hated but that video. The, yeah, yeah. The video, the video was over the top. The video was like a Diddy Mace video. Yeah, exactly. I hated that fucking video. The video was like a Diddy on like a Diddy Mace type video. Yeah, all them fucking lights and shit. I hated yeah, that fucking yeah. video. Dog. Yeah. So really, that joint could have probably been better if you just would have made like a regular video for it. It right. probably came off better. The video is what make the joint people not like it. It's right. not the actual song. Hate that fucking video. You know what I mean? It's not It's not the song. It's, it's, it's actually not the song. You know what I mean? It's really what y'all got on and then <laughs> and, and the video. Right. That's, That's really, really what it was. Horrible, dog. You know what I mean? Y'all look like, yeah, y'all look, look like a whole, y'all try to be like on some Diddy Mace yeah. running around, you know what I mean? Running around, everything bright. We in an amusement park. We on a roller coaster. Like all that. Like I don't, yeah, which like like I said, <laughs> yeah, I mean that was, video, that was a misstep. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Was. No, I mean everybody got misstep. That was a misstep. That was around the time though where he dropped the drink with Foxy. That was another like big type drink. Ain't no nigga. That that shit felt to me like something that Big and Kim would have done. Ain't no nigga like the one that I got. Yeah, that was like that shit felt to me just like some shit that Big and Kim would have done. Um. Yeah, so I felt like yeah, because I feel like they they had they had like they had like a similar style, mm -hmm. but Big was just a little bit better at him than at it though. Yeah, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So I guess once once Jay kind of like found like his lane, like I can do that, but not as much as he can. Yeah, cause um, ain't no nigga was dope. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no nigga was dope, but yeah, but that do sound like. That do sound like a, a, a joint that you, if you took Jay and Fox out and put Big and Kim in there, that it would also have been a dope record. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, hell it yeah. sound yeah, yeah, it sounds yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? And he kind of felt like Fox, um, Jay kind of like felt felt like his like little Kim, but then I don't know what the what, what what was going on behind that. I don't know if it was as far as record company and label and all that. Right. Ended up rolling with Nas and them. Right. Which I don't get why she didn't go roll with Jay and them. I never understood that. True. So I don't know what that was. I don't know if that was a thing of the record company. That's right. who the record company put, put you with. Right. Cause to me that just didn't seem like I mean, I listened to the to, to the to the firm and all that, but it would have just made more sense to go with Jay. True. We we'd have probably got a lot more hit records. True. With them, no I mean with them. Exactly. With them two, as opposed to her rolling with Nas, right? That was always kind of like a little off to me. I didn't get, I didn't get where that came from. I don't know the backstory, but I didn't get where that, I didn't get where that came from. I'm assuming that came from some type of record company stuff or something like that, yeah. or something. You know what I mean? Or somebody's manager or something, something like that. I assume, right? But to me, that didn't make no sense. It, I mean, it, it would have made sense for them to make rec more records together, right? But then again, at that time, when did a mill come across? Come along? 
I don't know. I'm assuming like what? 98, 90, 99? Probably, 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 like, probably like the year or something. Like, like a year after he dropped like the volume one joint. Mm. Because my thing is this. If you... If Foxy is rolling with Nas at this point, you done did records with her, but she didn't. She popped when she and she's with Nas now, right? And then, and then, unfortunately, you know what I mean. Big passes away, right? So now it's like, in your mind, he's probably thinking like Nas is my main competition for the number one spot. So now I gotta find somebody. I may now you close to them. Now I may have to find another female to do some joints with. Right. Because you with my main competition now. And right. this mind, you probably this mind's probably like, yo, you probably now now he's my main competition for the number one spot. I'm trying to get that spot. You know what I mean, he's trying to get that spot. You know what I mean? So, so I'm like. So I guess that's when a mill came in because we you need need a, a female at the time. You know what I mean? Everybody needed a female at the crew. Like I said, that was the time where you came out. A female was supposed to need a female on the crew. Yes, it was. You know what I mean? So yes, it was. And then to me, I liked the mill. She was a decent rapper. A mill fit, a mill fit the motherfucking Rockefeller, you know what I'm saying, brand. Yeah, a little yeah, the better whole, than Foxy. I mean, you know what I'm saying, a little better than Foxy. She was that, you know what I'm saying, that, 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 that fucking chick you got on your arm for the, the trophy, the trophy type chick. You know what I mean? She could rap though, it wasn't like yeah, she no, could she rap. Yeah, no, she could rap, but I'm saying like Foxy was more of a hood type chick. Foxy was the hood, you know what I mean? You, you pick up from the projects. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. A mill just a mill had a classier okay. look. Okay, I kind of understand what you saying. Yeah, mill had a classier look. Like she fit, she fit what they was. You know I, what I mean? I, I kind of understand you saying she yeah. was a Foxy Brown was just a super pretty hood chick. Yeah, she was definitely. Okay. Yeah, she was. You know what I mean? But she still had that edge to her and shit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, okay. she still had that edge to her. Cause like you can't you you can't see a mill doing ain't no nigga. I couldn't picture her doing no song like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just just I couldn't that that shit that shit probably wouldn't be believable to me. Yeah, if I if Jones, I she was doing that. Yeah, and I I actually liked the mill, but the joints that they did together, they wasn't they weren't the same as the joints she did with Fox. True, true. They didn't hit the same. True. She was decent. Now I'm saying she, she was a she was a solid rapper. But mm-hmm. She had a fucking amazing voice. Yeah, she did. She had an amazing sounding voice. She did. Yeah, she did. For a rapper, she had an amazing sounding voice. Hell yeah. Um. But yeah, now I mean the 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 the, the records ain't hit the same though. No. Now I mean. No, I mean the the. I'm not saying the records were bad. They just didn't hit the same as the records that he did with Foxy. Right. Um, so I understand what you're saying, and back then it wasn't like now. You ain't when you had now and had an internet. You might not have had a million chicks to choose from. You know what I mean? True. To choose from and all this shit. But at the same time, like I said, she did, and then her voice was like, I could probably I I can get what he probably what, what people at Rockefeller probably got when they when they heard her or when they seen her. And be like, okay, you know what I mean? We can work with her, and in the way her voice sound is crazy. Right. So yeah, I get it. But um, and then you probably needed somebody, a woman that was on Rockefeller, because Foxy's signed to Def Jam. Right. We need somebody on Rockefeller. You know what I mean? We Rockefeller Def Jam. We're not just Def Jam. We're Rockefeller Def Jam. So, and Foxy was on Def Jam, and then Foxy which, was with Nas. Which again don't make no sense for Foxy to even be with Nas, because Nas was on Def Jam. Listen, I like I said, I have no clue how that came about. So maybe people can fill us in in the comments, yeah. or I'll probably look it up. Know what I mean? And research it. Um, yeah, because what? Who the fuck was Az signed to? I can't even remember who who Az was first. His first his, his first record. I I, yo, I couldn't I can't tell off the top of my head who he signed to. Off the mm. top of my head, I can't I can't even remember. Yeah, when the firm came out like you know what I mean that the firm was just some shit that was just put together. It was just, it was weird. It was we gonna rap over Dr. Dre beats. 
You know what I'm saying? But we 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 we, we fucking New York motherfuckers though. So I was the whole shit just was like some shit that you just throwing yeah, together. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. To me, it was more like um, so I think most of them was was it was like Dr. Dre and then who else? Uh, the other boys that was high at the time, Track Masters or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that may have been a whole thing about that, but that was, I, I guess that was after the whole East Coast, West Coast thing, and I guess they was trying to like, I don't know, show like some type of unity or something I like you, that. I feel you, I feel you. But I'm like, yeah, yeah, to me, I ain't going to hold you. It was a it was a couple joints on there, but I didn't I didn't really care about the firm album too much. I feel you. Now, I mean, you had a couple joints on there. They had a couple joints on there. Yeah. But... I didn't care about that firm album too much. Yeah. I didn't. A lot of people didn't. I didn't. Know what I mean? Yeah. It just... Know what I mean? I just... Yeah, yeah. I just wasn't feeling that. Like, I, I really wasn't feeling that. Yeah, that was just odd to me. But I, I, I get why they tried to do it, but it wasn't no... It, it, it just wasn't no good fit to me. Yeah, it wasn't. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, you could listen to Drop the Drake Beats, but you don't want to hear... You don't, you don't want to hear people you want to hear on East Coast shit on... Over Dr. Drape on, on like West Coast beats all the time. You know right, what I mean? Right. You can listen to it every once in a while. But yeah, it kind of like threw me off. Yeah. Now I mean I really wasn't feeling that album too much. It was a couple joints on there, but I but overall I was I wasn't feeling that joint. But um I said with that, um, yeah, I feel like if Big was around, if Big was still around, Jay. Jay would have probably had to sound a way to sound different than him. I don't know if they would feel like, well, we got to sound like him, mm -hmm. him, or just sound different than them to kind of like, I don't know, get like more notoriety or whatever. But mm -hmm. I felt like he was in the right place at the right time. And then like, he, he kind of like, to me, had like kind of like a, a half like a half of a misstep with the first album. the, the vi I mean, the volume one joint in my lifetime joint. But then he came back, the volume two joint, he got right. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? He got right and realized, all right, I, I can I can fill the spot without having to fill his shoes. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. I can fill his shoes without having to try to be him and do all the stuff that he would do. Right. So I felt like, you know what I'm saying? That that may have came out, that, not, not, I mean, that may have been differently. Um, a person like, I don't know how the landscape of the hip hop would have been with a person. I mean, I still feel like that would have made room for a person like um, DMX. Mm -hmm. But if but if Pac is still alive and running around with his shirt off, would people like not accept X for being that way? If well, Pac was still alive, well, or we, would it would we, it not matter? Because they feel like they they, they 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 kind of like different. Well, it, all right. Remember what you said. Like Pac probably would have fell off. I mean, not fell back. You know what I mean? So with him creating some sort of a void in that space, you know what I mean? That that leaves room for X to, you know what I mean, come on and flourish. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That leaves X to come on and flourish. Yeah, I feel like a um a pop DMX song. That'd be would, crazy. Would have been crazy. Dog. A pop DMX song would have been crazy. A pop DMX song, that would be crazy. <sighs> Yo. That would be wild. Because you think about it, like you said, if, 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 if Tupac is still around, you know what I'm saying, does does does, does Dr. Dre leave, you know what I'm saying, and, and you know, going to his own? Because if Dr. Dre don't leave, there's no aftermath. You know what I'm saying? If he stay like, all right, we just going to build this thing over here, Devin Bro, me, you, Snoop, you know what I'm saying? You know, you checking every now and then, we going to build it up. We got the dog pound over here. You know what I'm saying? Because... Who the fuck was a uh, Pac? Um, fuck was Pac? Uh, the, the, the motherfuckers that the motherfucker that was on the on the diss track with him, the East Siders? No, not the East Siders. What was their name? Who? The Outlaws. Yeah, the the Outlaws. Outlaws. You know what I'm saying? We are signing them. We got them motherfuckers. So now we building up this crew over here. Dre don't leave. There's no aftermath. We don't know how Eminem is discovered. We don't know how Fifty Cent is discovered. You know what I'm saying? So now we. We creating like a big ass pothole in, in, into the, I mean, the hip hop drink. Man. Where, I mean, it's it's it's. We saying we saying it would been we we saying it'll it'll play it out like that. It been a power because of what we know. Mm -hmm. No, that would just been what it is. It's just you just never. Oh well, yeah, you yeah right. yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, you, yeah right, you, you might right. just okay. You right. 
Yeah, because if you, I don't know, because from what they saying that they were saying while Pac was there that Dre was was distant. So okay. you never know okay. if. Yeah, he probably still would have left. I got now you. I mean, if he would have probably not, not man, chances are he'd have probably some some of this stuff would probably still played out the same because from 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 my knowledge, from what I was hearing that Dre was already on his way, like not messing with it. He did the records with Pac and all that, some of the records and all mm-hmm. that, but he was on his way, probably now I mean, starting to be done with it. Mm-hmm. So then, so like I said, now I mean, Death Row would have probably still been like that because Dre would have probably still ended up leaving, Snoop would have probably still ended up leaving. You know what I mean? Mm. So I think that that wouldn't have changed the fate of Death Row. Mm. You know what I mean? Whether, whether um, if, if 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 Pop was still here, I don't think that'd have changed the fate of Death Row. Mm. So I think that 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 Dre would have probably still left, and then in turn, Snoop would have probably left, mm. still left. You think we'd ever got a Three Kings album? Nas, J, and Big? No. No. Mm -mm. No. No. I just don't. I don't think that. I don't think that all of them could could have could have would have been in the same accord to to do a whole album. You might have got a song. Mm. You might have got a song, but Mm -hmm. you, but you probably wasn't gonna get no whole album. Probably wasn't. Yeah, because then wasn't it wasn't it Herb that said on Brooklyn's finest. That was like Big and Jay going at it. I think Irv, I think I, I thought an interview where Irv said that. Like, if you listen to it, they actually like going back and forth talking about each other. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, that, that, that'd be crazy when you think about that. If that was really, if that was really true, that's wild. Um, uh, Brooklyn's Finest. Brooklyn Finest was a record that. Um, that was a dope record. Yeah, but it was Jay. It was Jay's record because Clark Kent believed that Jay was gonna end up being the number one dude. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I guess because 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 you would think any other producer would have just gave Big the record. True. We just gave that to Big when Big True. first heard True. it and said, "Yo, yeah. what's this? Oh no, this is for Jay." Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. And he say, no, I got to get on that. Right. But you would think any other producer would have been like, no, we just gave it to Big. And he was like, I'll just give Jay another track. No, now I mean, Clark Kent believed in, he one of people that always believed, you would tell him, listen to him, he always believed in Jay. Yeah. Even when Jay was still running around out there in the street, he believed that Jay could be the biggest rapper. Right. You see what I'm saying? So he one of them core people that believed in him before Everybody else, right. you know what I'm saying, when only a few people believed in you, know what I mean? Because you you would think as a producer that he would have just gave it to Big when Big heard it. Say, right. yo, what's that? I know you can have this, John. I was going to save it for something for Jay, but I'm going to have it. Nah. You know what I mean? They didn't end up doing a record, which was, yeah, that was that was a dope record. Yeah. Um. Even though we talked about the beef, you know what I'm saying, on the Susie's episode, that's kind of one of the um, songs that I really didn't get mad at Pac when Pac, I mean, talked about Faith in the drink because it's like Big opened it up for that. He said Faith had twins, she probably had, he kind of opened that shit up. You know what I mean? Like put her on the but table did, that was just like. Did, did that Did that record come up before or after Hit Him Up though? That came up before. That record came up before Hit Him Up? Yeah, that shit came up before Hit Him Up. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, but that right there, I feel like I, I, I feel like I feel like some some stuff would have happened. Like I said, I feel like the fate of Death Row was still gonna be the fate of Death Row, mm-hmm. no matter what. Now I mean, even if Pac was still around, mm-hmm. I felt like Dre was gonna leave regardless, and then after that, Snoop was still gonna leave. Right. So even if you did, I mean, I mean, if, and if you had Pac, and then Pac was more of a I'm trying to put my people on. I'm trying to do these movies and stuff like that. Right. So I'm not. I'm not about to be the artist that's. I'm not dropping an album for you every year. You see right. what I'm saying? Right. Shit, you never know though, because when Pac locked in, remember his work ethic was crazy. Yeah. So yeah, but it's yeah, yeah, but if you, I, I don't, yeah, I don't know, yeah. I mean, you never know, yeah, because you got a whole bunch, bunch, bunch of songs. Right. But you still, you, but, 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 yeah, but you still got to be. But back then, remember back then, you would still go. 
run, do all the radio stuff, yeah, a thousand yeah, interviews. Yeah, yeah, so if yeah. your mindset ain't on doing that, right, you might right. have a whole bunch of songs. We trying to put an album out, but you right. ain't really in tune with going, doing, doing the whole, doing the whole dancing song and going all around and doing promoting mess out of it. Who knows if he would have felt like doing that? He might fight. Well, I'm doing other stuff now. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of unreleased music. Y'all want to put an album out, but I'm not going to be doing. All right, I'll do a little bit to promote it, but I may not want to do all the whole dancing song of it like I've been doing before, like right. going around to every record company. I mean, I mean, every radio station and just, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. doing the whole full fledged thing. He may not feel like doing that. Yeah, you're right. So who knows? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? How that would have played out. You know what I mean? If he, but if I feel like if he was still around, I felt like he would have been more into putting other people on. True. He'd have probably, probably start, try to start his own thing, you know what I mean? Start his own label, you know what I mean? And try to build that up. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, the, 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 to make sure he put people on. Right. I just feel like Pac would have been that type of person where he wouldn't have wrapped his... I mean, he'd have probably been making songs, like you said. You know what I mean? Somebody who make a few songs every time they go in, go in the studio, probably songs piled up. But yeah. his focus would have probably been on trying to make sure everybody else is straight. Right. Right. As far as the music side of it, and right. we'll, it'll probably stop paying attention to his own his own career musically, and probably just did more of the acting thing and all that. Right. And then would have probably been yeah, been in, been even bigger star that. You know what I mean? You could probably drop out when you feel like it. You know right. what I mean? But I do, but I do feel like he'd have probably spent he'd have probably spent more of his time putting other people on. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Putting other people on. I just felt like. Yeah, because I just feel like he he was that type of person. Yeah. But now that I think about it, man, a real life, a Pac and DMX song would have been crazy, man. That would have been wild. That would have been wild. The people, the people would have been calling for them to do an album together. Mm-hmm. Just imagine that, dog. That shit, that shit would go crazy. A Pac and the X song? Yeah, then, um, then if they were still here... You know what I mean? The Pac, the big joints would have been. Yeah, they could have. I mean, they could have locked it. Like I said, I don't see. You never know. I could have been wrong, but I don't see. I don't. I don't see them doing a whole album together. Mm-hmm. But a joint here there would have yeah. been dope. Yeah. You now I mean, because I felt like they would have got that together. They would have. They'd have patched that up. Right. You know what I'm saying? They would have patched that up because, you know what I mean? Like people say, they said Pac got joints where he apologized in the big. You recorded them joints when you was also recording joints that you going against him. Right. So so even in his so even in his mind, he knew like, no, this joint, I really want this joint to end. This whole this 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 whole back and forth with us to end. Right. You see what I'm saying? So we can get back right. Um some music would have came out of that. Know what I mean? A, a, a few a, a few songs would have came out of that. Yeah, no uh, doubt. Um, but yeah, I feel like when it when it I feel like when it come to pop, I feel like he would have fell back from his own career musical as far as music and made sure everybody else on put more pe- other people on. Right. Now I mean, I don't feel like he'd have been worrying about his own career as much right. as far as the music. I feel like he'd have probably been a bigger movie. You know what I mean? Just, just been doing movies and TV and stuff like yeah. that. So I think that his whole thing would have been making sure the people that my other people that's around me and all that want to do music, I make sure I set them up. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So I so 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 I feel like that 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 that's what he would have been doing. Um, yeah, I do feel like they'd have, they'd they'd have got back right. Yeah, no doubt. You know I mean, them two would have got back right, and I mean, made some songs together and all and and and, and everything. And then I feel like um. Yeah, I feel like he'd have probably got back right with him, you know what I mean? Kind of patched stuff up with Jay, Nas. I feel like that, you know what I'm saying? A, 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 like 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 another, like a real, like a, a real life Nas Tupac record. Yeah. Come on, man. Some of these records. Yeah, yeah. Not, not me, some, of these, yeah. Some, some of these don't, man. Come on, man. A Pac DMX record. A Pac Nas record. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We kind of got, we kind of got like robbed of some stuff. We did. Now I, mean, I feel like we kind of yeah. got, yeah, man. Now we got robbed of some stuff, man, when that happened, man. When you yeah. think about it, some of the music that we could have, some some of the songs that we could be, could have had in hip hop. Yeah. Come on, man. We did, we did. 
And then uh, even on the side of getting robbed, we got a lot of good music from them dudes and we forget how young they was. Yeah, like, yeah, and we think about it. People, people be hell, in a in a early in a early twenties making right. classic records, man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Some great music from them dudes. They was young as hell. That's why I ain't trying to hear that shit. I mean, this person young, that person young, dog. They was young. They was young. Everybody as hell, was young. Dog. Come on, man. Now I was young. Dog. We got some great music from these motherfuckers. Some of these dudes was young when they was making the stuff they was yeah. making. You can't tell me that. I I get it. It's the eight. It's the, the crazy thing about right now is you got you got all this information, but it's like people don't care about it. True. Back then, you had dudes rapping the way they was rapping, teenagers in their early twenties rapping the way they was rapping, right. talking what they was talking. Right. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Hell yeah. People forget that, dog. Them dudes was they was young, man. Young as hell, dog. It was young as hell. Rapping the way they was rapping. Yeah. So, to me, people saying, yo, a lot of these dudes is young, man. They was young. Yeah. I understand times was different, man. It was more about the, uh, not, it was more about the knowledge. Even if you was on some street shit, you still had some type of knowledge about you. Right. You didn't sound like, even the street dude didn't sound like no complete dummy and no crash out. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. DMX was a street dude, but did he sound like some crash out dummy though? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. Some people, when you listen to them, you sound like, yo, y'all just sound like crash out dummies. Y'all sound like y'all ain't got no kind of knowledge or so. Even if you don't go make the choice to go out there in the street and do something. Right. You still sound you ain't got no type of smarts and no brains about you. Yeah. Even the street dudes back then sound they intelligence. Hell yeah. Know what I'm saying? The locks and all them, how they was rapping. Street shit. Right. Do Styles sound like a dummy though, even though he's a street dude? Right. Does he sound like a dummy? Yeah, not at all. You see what I'm saying? So even, yeah, now you just sound like you got people just, they just complete, saying complete crash outs. Like they ain't got no type of knowledge. Right. No type of nothing. No know how, no nothing. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. Um, That was the versatility of the people back then. You can still talk about that street shit, you know what I mean? Jump in and out of that shit. Now that's all motherfuckers can talk about. If it's, if you're not talking Everybody. about that, people don't want to hear you. Yeah, even, yeah, because we we... Because like I said, now I mean, my favorite group is Mob D. Mm-hmm. Even, even though they was, they was, they were street rappers, they had like they when you listen to their stuff, it was a lot of knowledge in it. Yeah. And they used to always, you know what I mean, and they was always saying they rhymes. If you ain't been doing it, don't start. Right. So you got street dudes telling you, no, nah, if you already ain't been doing this, don't don't even start doing it. Right. They rapping about street shit, but then telling you, you don't need to be doing it. Right. You ain't been doing it, don't start doing it. Right. I mean, how how many times do you hear that now? No, I got I got the stick. I got a hundred shots. I'm ready to give it to anybody. It ain't no knowledge in the bars, even if it's street shit. Even if even even the music that we had with street, it was it was knowledge in the shit. Right. Cause even dudes that was doing it was telling you don't do it. Right. You see what I'm saying? Telling you the whole bad part of it. You know what I'm saying? The whole damn... Because a lot of people be... I was listening to... Um, I was listening to... Um, what's, what's the song? Ice-T joint. Ice-T joint from um from New Jack City. The uh, New Jack Hustler joint. Everybody love that song so much, but I'm like, yo, he telling you at the end, no, nah, he got court. Yeah. No, I mean he telling you on some people be telling you on these songs. It's still even though it's even though it's street shit, they got knowledge in it. They right. telling you. Right. No, I mean when he tell you the other song, Hot Rollers. No, at the end of the joint, somebody had a gun to his head. Like you know what I mean? You get killed for. I mean, you get killed. For, you get killed out there in the street for that. Right. Right. Now I mean just worrying about the cars, the money, and all that. The good part of it. That's what all people. No, I mean people ain't giving you no knowledge in it. Back then, they giving you both sides of it. Right. No, you going no, you can get court and go to jail for this. You can get, you can die for this. If you ain't been doing it, don't start. Right. 
So you don't even like, you know what I mean? So that, that was that was back then when you still got that. Even if people talking street shit. Even if they talking street shit, you still getting some type of knowledge out of it. Right. Right. You know what I mean? People still trying to teach you some type of lesson or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, but you talking the about the dudes back then that had morals. Like, they didn't do this shit for the fun, the, the thrills and the Yeah, the just giggles. like now. If I'm, I did this shit because I had to do yeah, this shit yeah. to get my family. And then, and then and then we do got an issue. I'm talking about you. Right. I'm going right. to snatch your chain when I see you. <laughs> right. Punch you in your mouth when I see you. Right. I'm not about to talk about your family. Right. We don't even know you got family. That's the crazy thing about it. Like, we, dog, there's so many Yeah, rappers. yeah. I ain't doing I the know goddamn, what your wife was. You don't, don't you goddamn. Kids. Yeah, all this goddamn research everybody's <laughs> doing trying to find <laughs> dirt on people. Right. Sound like female shit to me, though. I'm right. sorry. I don't, I, don't, I don't like that part of it. Yeah. If I got an issue with you, I'm rapping about you. Yeah. yeah, dog, I'm putting hands on you when I see you. Yeah. Dog, it's motherfucking rappers that we listen to the whole time we was growing up, and then you, you get grown and be like, oh, that was his wife the whole time? I never knew, because you didn't care about that shit. Mm -hmm. Nobody never talked about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Nobody talked about nobody kids or something like that. Now, the thing to do is, you know what I mean, just, man, that shit is... But I guess, like we said before, the Susie episode, the element of danger has subsided. So I can do these things and don't have to worry about it. I'm going to do this shit and walk and see you in the street and we're just going to keep moving. Mm -hmm. I don't got to worry about no repercussions. Certain shit you just didn't do. You just didn't play with motherfuckers' family. You know what I'm saying? Bringing up my family, my, my wife. Now you're bringing my wife into this shit. And this shit is even more dangerous now. Like, you think about it. If it was brought into the equation then, it's really still only but so far that we can, you know what I mean, use that information because... We didn't have like social media to get at certain people or the contact if if somebody said such and such wife name or your kid's name. We didn't have all those like yeah you know I mean um, yeah you know I mean elements and shit to do that. Now you bring a motherfucker wife name here, the whole audience that follow you can come at her. You bring a motherfucker kid name up yeah, here. Yeah, you know what I mean? I, like, yeah, it's yeah, just different. Yeah, yeah, I don't dog. like that. Like no, yeah, that shit. No. My, my, my kid got to go to school and all that. Exactly. Shit is just I'm, different, I'm, dog. I'm, now, now my kid got to go to school. Right. My wife got to be out here walking around in the world. Right. You you put her in some whole, shit. Come on, man. Whole, yeah. No, it's just, just shit that you don't do. You know what Corny I mean? Corny ass shit. Yeah. Now she I, walking around with a target on her back because you exposed her to the world. You did that. Not yeah, me. Yeah, I'm a fucking... I'm a fucking... I'm a, I'm a fucking slap and slap. You gonna take your chain. <laughs> right. That was that. Right. We left for the debt. Oh, all right. He seen him. You know he's going to slap him and take his chain. Okay. That's as far as we went. Now, you know what I mean? This, this shit's so petty. The audience is petty, and the artist is, is even more petty than the audience. Mm. You know what I mean? You bring it up, motherfucker's wife name, and the audience like, what's her name? Found the Instagram. Right. What? Yeah. Fuck is we doing? Yeah. Come on, man. You don't play like that. Nobody, family and shit like that, man. Motherfuckers is just rappers at the end of the day. They rappers, man. Let them motherfuckers rap and do their thing. Yeah, man. It's, it's different, yo. Mm -hmm. A lot of shit. If them two motherfuckers were still alive, a lot of shit would be different. The question I wanted to ask you, you know what I'm saying, before we get about it here, because them two dudes was two major dudes in major markets, right? You know what I'm saying? With the passing of Big, it kind of like, New York kind of like subsided a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because it was really one person carrying it. Like, like you said, Nas was in and out. You know what I'm saying? DMX came. You know what I mean? And you know, a couple of times, but like Atlanta saw the fucking crack and they was allowed to come up. You know what I'm saying? You had these like smaller markets that was allowed to just come up because like, you know what I mean? The market wasn't as saturated as it was on the East Coast or the West Coast. You know what I mean? A Glorilla could come through, a motherfucking Yo Gotti could come through, you know what I mean? And then start a label and now you got a, you got a whole conglomerate of motherfuckers from your hood. You think that shit would still be able to do it? if? Because you got to think, Big would be, you know what I mean, pro promoting other New York motherfuckers. You know what I mean? Shout out to Charlie. She's from Philly. But, like, it would have been other New York motherfuckers that would have been eating off of, the, off of, off of, off of that. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, mm. Pop would have been, you know what I mean, pushing other West Coast motherfuckers. The Outlaws. Corrupt probably would have been bigger than he was. You know what I mean? The, the Dog Pen. Who knows what would have happened? You know what I'm saying? So, you think that them smaller markets would, would still have a room to come through? Yeah, because I just think that. The South, the, the the South, it was just it was it was just their time. Know what I mean, okay. after that, because they was always around. Yeah, they were. And there, and I'm saying, um, 
They was always around, you know. You had in the mid nineties, you know what I mean. You had um, Outkast, Goody Mob. I mean, some people want to throw, would throw crisscross in there as holding hold, hold, hold them down for the nineties. You know what I mean. Some some people don't feel like they authentic hip hop. Some people do. I feel like they are part of hip hop. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of people say, even though it was like it was like R and B, some people say TLC held it down. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Some people say TLC held it down. You know what I mean? And, 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 and put and put a spotlight on 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 on, on the land too. Mm. So I know some some people may feel like they not they not 100 hip hop, and some people don't. You know what I mean? To me, I just felt to me when I look back on it, I'm like, yeah, they kind of them. Um, some people kind of held it down here and there. It was, it was artists here and there. But it wasn't like full full fledged how it was just East Coast and West Coast. Remember, for a long time it was East Coast, West Coast, yeah. then a couple of people down south, like you had Luke. Right. You know what I'm saying? You right. some, not, right. not, not, I mean, you had some you had some people in the South here and there, you had ghetto boys. But it wasn't like how the I mean once the movement came, like, um, cause yeah, because after they passed, you had you had Jay, mm-hmm. and then Fifty Cent came out. Yeah. As far as the major, you also had Cam. Cam did the whole dip set. Yeah. They had that, but then you're right. It wasn't like Locks was always around and stayed True. solid, but True. it wasn't like the whole. wasn't like just the whole movement together. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then you had um Wu Tang Mur- Murder Eight. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was that was. Around that time, you know what I mean? That was the time that Murder Ain't kind of like emerged. Yeah. But then 50 Cent emerged. And then after that, it was it was clashing with them to the point that, all right, the West Coast, the West Coast was 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 somewhat like quiet for a few years. Yeah, they was. They were somewhat quiet for a few years. Mm-hmm. Um and then you only had like you only had like fifty on on, a, on as far as mainstream. You only had like fifty for a minute, you only had fifty for mainstream on mainstream for a minute, and then um NJ, mm-hmm. and that's for a few years. That was it as far as main really mainstream. Yeah, I mean we was rocking with the DVDs. People on DVDs. Well, you like remember? I said, I mean, remember Nelly, Nelly had his little spurt up in there. You know what I'm saying? Between yeah, pimp, pimp juice had his little spurt and shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Eminem yeah. pops up. You know what I'm saying? No, no, we talk. Uh, no, I mean yeah, they. They Midwest cats, and then and then people view, even though they both Midwest cats, they view Nelly and and, and and M as two different types. I got you. I got you. Know what I'm saying? I got you. They don't. They don't. Even though they both Midwest, people don't view Eminem. People view Eminem as strictly hip hop, and they view M Nelly as like a pop dude. I got you. I got you. That's just how people view him. I got you. You right. You right. Um, but that also yeah, but that also yeah, you had you had Nelly. I was Midwest. So the South started coming up. You know what I'm saying? You still had you had um Outcast had came up with that joint that sold like 10 million. Yeah, then yeah. T.I. came. Yeah. Then Jeezy came. Then yeah. you had um Lil John. So they got their time. Then you know, uh Ross came out. You now I mean Ross came out. Then you had the people from Texas, that whole moon, Texas, Paul Wall, Mike yeah, Jones. Yeah, so yeah. they was able to do, and then yeah. at the same time, you always had, you always had, you had. No limit and cash money was around. Yeah. But then you know what I'm saying, but then more people started coming in just them, just one at a time every few years. Right. So like one person from the South, okay, cash money came out and started representing. So Right, right. I just felt like they was gonna have their wave. They was gonna have their time. Eventually they was gonna get their time and they got they you know what I mean and they they got their time when things and then um the West Coast had like their resurgence, you know what I mean? They had game. Mm-hmm. Snoop was always around, yeah. but he was doing stuff here and there. But he was more like on some like moving like Nas to me. Like it wasn't like consistent. It's like I'm gonna come out every now and again. True. It wasn't like super. I'm um, constantly, constant, constant, constant with Snoop. And he was like kind of like moving, kind of like how Nas moved. Yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a I'm a drop something, but then I'm gonna go fall back for a few years, and I'm gonna drop something. I'm gonna fall back right. for a few years. Right. You know. Plus, um, you know, a lot of people went through that where. Because Snoop was moving around, like, you know what I mean? He was still a West Coast dude, but like now, all right, now you with no limit. So do we still consider you like the West Coast pioneer? I mean, you a pioneer, but like, 
Is this are you upholding West Coast right now? Cause you doing music with them. You know what I mean? You doing music with Pharrell. So a lot of people start to look at like Snoop, like, you know what I'm saying? You just global now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You you we just can't consider you like you just West Coast, you global now. You mm-hmm. everywhere. Mm-hmm. You know so, what I mean? Yeah, man. So they just came at yeah, yeah, man. It was it was just their time. Yeah. yeah. It, you know what I mean? It was their time. Yeah, it was. So now and then, you know, as as time go on, social media, the internet, just it made it made music. Everybody could just make music as time went on. Everybody could just make music and put it out. So now everybody can be from anywhere, man. Now what I mean, you gotta find out where they from or listen to how they talk. Now what I mean, the way they accent is somebody to figure out where they from. Cause right now that kind of like United united everybody in a way, but it's like now you don't have no distinct sound from a certain place anymore to me. Yeah, I feel you. It's, it's not distinct. I feel you. You're right. I agree with you on that. When before you could tell with somebody, you could look at them, you could look at the way they dress. Yep. The what the, the way they the way they the, the beat they rapped on. Yep, yep. Now you can't you can't tell where some of them from. Nope. Now I mean you can't so you can't tell it no more, man. But um yeah, man. I just wanted to talk about that for a minute, man. About yeah, yeah. I just thought about what if, what, what if they still was around, and um, you know, rest in peace to them, my close to their family and all that. But yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because that just popped in my head earlier today. Like, what if they were still around? How would the landscape be? You know what I mean? And then, and if they was gone, with somebody like maybe somebody like Fifty Cent still be not not me would be. As big as he was, because mm. was it like, okay, you had, you had Jay, then you had X, and then you had, you had, Josh started doing this stuff, but then, like you said, Fifty kind of like did like the, he, I mean he, he he, he kind of like did something like newer to kind of get on, mm. which is like the whole mixtape thing, right. like just doing your own mixtape, right. So I guess he just had to find a creative way to kind of like to get on and that and that and that worked for him. Yeah, it did. So I don't know if he would have been, I don't know if that had affected him success or he would have just had the same blueprint. I don't know. Now I'm saying I don't know, but now I mean I don't know. I think I think some things would have changed, been 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 different, but I also think some but, but I but I think some things would have just happened the same way they would happen whether they was here or not. Mm-hmm. So that's just so that's just me, man. So yeah, I think a lot of things yeah. would change. So, you know what I mean? You want to explain what that was before we get up out of here? Well, a lot of things that would have changed. Yeah. yeah, I think a lot of things would change. I like, um, I don't even. I mean, Rockefeller wouldn't have been as big as a, of a label as it was. Mm. You know what I mean? Because you got to think about it. Like, even though don't get me wrong, I did. I never liked the Rockefeller model because I ain't going front for a long time. The only motherfucker that was on it was Jay. It was other motherfuckers, but it seemed like. It wasn't like Bad Boy. When Bad Boy, when the artist came out with Bad Boy, you can guarantee they was gonna go gold. That was like a guarantee. They was at least gonna do that. With Rockefeller, it was just like, we don't know what the fuck you gonna do. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I, I hated the Rockefeller model. You know what I'm saying? Certain art, certain artists would drop. Like when Bleak, when Bleak first drink dropped, it didn't, I think it went gold like late. You know what I'm saying? But certain certain artists on, on Rockefeller, they model, they they model just wasn't the shit, the shit wasn't structured right. You know what I'm saying? It was it was Jay and everybody else. You know what I'm saying? So mm. I think I think that shit, I think that shit would have been that shit. I don't even know if Rockefeller would have been the same. Because if you got another fucking label, like you said, Puff is gonna be Puff. Mm-hmm. So he would have still found the loon or a G Dep or 112. You know what I mean? He would have found these motherfuckers and still kept the label going because he did it without Big anyway. We already know that for a fact. Mm-hmm. So even if Big do leave. And you over there with, you know what I mean, with, with, with uh, Un, you know what I'm saying? Now that label is thriving because it's still big. You know what I mean? It's still big. And who knows? Maybe Kim get done her deal. She 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 hear her requirements on Bad Boy and she go over there with him. You know what I mean? Now they doing shit. Because who knows? They probably do a joint album. You know what I mean? Because the way as close no. as they was. No, I don't think Kim was ever on Bad Boy. She no, wasn't on Bad Boy? I don't know. I don't think Kim was on, ever on Bad Boy. No, she wasn't on Bad Boy. They were signing. What's that joint before Entertainment? What's the joint that that Julian Murphy was on before Entertainment? 
Undies or something like that. Is it, is it called? Oh, Undies? I got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. never one bad boy. Yeah, Luke yeah. Was a, yeah, yeah. I don't think no Luke Kim was ever one. Damn, bad that's boy. crazy. So her first album that came out was not on Bad Boy. I, don't, I I doubt it. Wow, I doubt it. That's crazy. I doubt it. I think that was like Atlantic Records or something like that. It was it was, it was one of them record companies. Yeah, well, you know what I mean, Google was your friend. Shit, I mean, uh, wherever wherever Kim at, you know, she fill her requirements over there, and she go right over there with Big. You know what I'm saying? I really think that the major labels, that, like you said, if Pac's still alive and Big's alive, the major labels at that time, Def Jam always going to be a powerhouse. Def Jam got to be number one no matter what you're talking about. So it's Def Jam. You know what I mean? You put Bad Boy or, or fucking Death yeah. Row after that. Yeah. Undias. Yeah. Recordings, Big Beat Records, and Atlantic Records. Yeah, Atlantic. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah she was never on Bad Boy. yeah. So you gotta think about Apple. think about the artists that came through Rockefeller, you know what I'm saying? Do they still go to Rockefeller? Does a Beanie Seagull still go to Rockefeller? Hmm? Does a Beanie Seagull still go to Rockefeller? Beanie Seagulls, you know what I mean? You figure his mold and how he is, you might fit more like a a a, a, a um a Biggie Smalls label. Why? Huh? Why? Just because of you know what I'm saying, the the the, the in front of the, the how he rap. You think he fit more of a Jay Z type mode? Did you know what I mean to fit with that label rather than a Big? And Big got Cam already, so you got Cam already talking that. You know what I mean talking what he talked. C's, you know what I mean. C's first album had a couple of joints on it, like I, I two songs on there. You know what I mean that 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 I fucked with. So I don't know. I just think that you know what I'm saying. Big had a bigger personality than Jay. I think more people would have flocked towards Big than they would have done Jay. Mm. Big personality was way bigger than Jay's to me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I think I think that would I think that that alone would have fucked it. The industry would have been a whole lot different. The industry would have been a whole lot different. Even down to today. Even down to today. You know what I'm saying? Like, we really, because I'm thinking about like, we look at them dudes like the way we look at Big and Pac is on some old fucking LeBron Jordan type shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, these are the overseers of this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, Big would have been 50 right now. Pac would have been 48. You know what I mean? So, they would have been label, running their own labels by this point. A lot of shit that's going on right now probably wouldn't fly. Probably wouldn't be going on. You know what I mean? With Pac still overseeing the West Coast and Big overseeing the East Coast. I don't, I don't, think, I don't think that we get to the point where, you know what I mean, North... Uh, New York rap, you know what I mean, falls off. New York rap got hit a stalemate where it was just like, whoever was the next one, we go, we go and campaign it because there's nobody here. You know what I mean? When Scarlet came, it's like, yo, we got one. Thank God. Yeah, she, we got somebody from New York that, that we could throw the flag up. I don't think we would have hit that stalemate. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I just don't, I don't think we would have hit that stalemate. You know what I mean? I think people would have been, you know what I mean, more motivated to rap. People would have been, you know what I'm saying? It, just, it just would have been different. But I mean, we never know. We can only assume and guess to this point. You know what I'm saying? I mean, shit. Because I ain't going to front, man. If Big would have stayed in the fucking lab, if, Pop, if Puff would have kept Big in the lab like Pac, man. Because you got to think about it. We consider Big big shit classic. Big, big guy like what? Three albums, right? You know what I mean? One of the best double CDs damn near I ever heard in my life. You put that shit up there with, with fucking Wu with the Wu Tang double CD. One of the two of the best damn near double CDs. I don't who do you know now that could do a double CD? Uh uh. No Nobody. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So the shit is different, man. I, I think the shit will be different. But I mean, we at where we at, and hip hop is still thriving. Yeah, you know I mean, hip hop gonna thrive because of the entertainment aspect that they bring. You know I mean, people gonna love it because they just wanna they wanna be entertained, they wanna dance, they wanna have fun. So, you know what I mean? Just we got two guys that will never be forgotten. You know what I mean? Within it. You know what I mean? Big and Pac will never be forgotten. And that's that's crazy to say for motherfuckers that passed away when they was in their early 20s. You know what I mean? In their early 20s. Like we look at them like they were damn near prophets in their early 20s they passed away. So yeah, man. You know what I mean? It was just a great time. To, it was a great time, you know what I mean, for us to be alive and enjoy the music. You know what I mean? For real. It was. You know what I mean? Ready to close this joint out? Yeah, 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 man. I was just thinking about that earlier today, man. So I just say, man, 
know what I mean? Why not do an episode about it? You know what I mean? That's just saying what if. So that, yeah. I mean, that's all. I mean, I know I know people going to have their opinions or their comments about it, man. Go on, feel free to comment. You know what I mean? What you, they agree with, they don't agree with. You know I mean? How they think things would have played out. You know what I mean? Go on and, you know what I mean? Go on and let us know. Yeah, you know definitely. I was just thinking about that earlier today, and I just said, why not do an episode like that? What's stopping me? I feel you. Hey, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Listen. Another segment that my man ISO puts within to the content repertoire, man. Y'all know what it is. You know what I mean, now we have something new to add on there. So now this is another thing that y'all get to bombard me with on some what ifs and shit. You know what I mean, what if this and what if that? But it is what it is, man. We appreciate y'all. Listen, man, we got we, we, we got to help these people out, man. <laughs> some 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 of these people struggling for content, man. Yeah, some, some people are. Yeah, some people right. struggling for content, man. Yeah. Like I said, we got people that's not creative in the creative space. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what I mean? And I don't say that, and I don't say it to brag, but I say that is, you have people who really sitting there trying to slow us down and and, and, and do some hating ass shit on us, and they don't know what to do with their, their damn self. You focus on your damn self, you might be all right instead of worrying about the hell earning nice so doing trying to slow us down. Yeah. But go right. ahead, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all ain't got no, y'all y'all can't think of shit. <laughs> y'all can't think of nothing. Go yeah. ahead, man. Yeah, you right. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, man. We appreciate y'all. We thank y'all once again. As always, y'all know what to do, man. Uh, like, share, you know what I mean? Subscribe, rate, review, all of those good things, man, that we appreciate y'all. You know what I'm saying? Keep running those numbers up. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know what I mean? We definitely do appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, and um, and also, man, I, I kind of think I found the people that we going to do some um, that I'm going to end up doing some merchandise with. So, know what I mean? The way things is looking, things is looking real good right now. I think I found the finally found the company that, know what I mean, is going to help us, is going to help this um, make it happen. So, know what I mean? Be able to look out for that. Know what I mean? I kind of got I got a good feeling about these people when I talk to them. Everything is sound like it's going up and up, and the thing's going to work out. So, but we're going to start trying to get some merchandise um um, um this year. So, um, I'm about to come out. Now I mean, going to try 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 to get the first T-shirt done. We're doing the T-shirt first, so we're going to see how that work out with this company, and um, we're just going to take it from there. Now I mean, so we let you know. Now I mean, hopefully now now me y'all support us with that, like been supporting us with this show, and just thank y'all, man, for all the success we have, man. Just thank y'all so much. Yeah, definitely. We appreciate y'all, man. And we out of here, man. Peace.